There are emergencies and disasters that can occur that are serious enough that you may find yourselves in a position to have to shelter in place your staff, volunteers, and those who are attending your site. Shelter in place means finding a safe location indoors and staying there until you are given an all clear or told to evacuate. You may be asked to shelter in place because of an active shooter or tornado, chemical, radiological, or other hazard. Having a plan to get everyone into a shelter in the event of an emergency can save lives. Let's take a few minutes and go over some emergencies that would require a shelter-in-place response. The first one we'll look at is active shooter. An active shooter is an individual engaged in and attempting to kill people in a confined space or populated area. Active shooters typically use firearms and have no pattern to their selection of victim. What to do? If you see suspicious activity, let an authority know right away. When everyone is safely sheltered, call 911. Chemical hazard. Chemical agents are poisonous vapors, aerosols, liquids, and solids that have toxic effects on people, animals, or even plants. What to do? Turn off all fans, heaters, or air conditioning. If available, tape plastic over windows in the internal room in which you are sheltering. Use duct tape around the windows and doors and make an unbroken seal. Tape over vents and seal any electrical outlets. Do not drink water from the tap. Stored water will be safer. Listen for current emergency information and instructions from authorities. Earthquakes. Earthquakes are the sudden, rapid shaking of the earth caused by the breaking and shifting of underground rock. Earthquakes can collapse buildings and cause heavy items to fall, resulting in injuries and property damage. What to do? Drop, cover, and hold on. Drop to your hands and knees. Cover your head and neck with your arms. Hold on to any sturdy furniture until the shaking stops. Crawl only if you can reach better cover without going through an area with more debris. Do not run outside. If you are already outside, stay outside. Flooding, flash flooding. Flooding is the most common natural disaster in the United States. Floods may develop slowly or quickly without warning. A flash flood is due to an extreme volume of water in a short period caused by heavy rainfall, a levee or dam failure, or a sudden release of water by a debris or ice jam. What to do? If trapped in a building by flooding, go to the highest level of the building. Listen for current emergency information and instructions. Hurricane, high wind, and storm surge. Hurricanes are massive storm systems that form over warm waters and often move toward land. Threats from hurricanes include powerful winds, heavy rainfall, storm surges, coastal and inland flooding, rip currents, tornadoes, and even landslides. What to do? As in any flooding emergency, go to the highest level of the building. For high wind, go to a small interior windowless room at the lowest level of your building. Nuclear radiological event. Nuclear explosions can cause significant damage and casualties. Exposure to dangerous radiation falling to the ground can cause severe illness. Radioactive fallout generally begins to collect about 10 minutes after the explosion. This actually gives you time to find adequate shelter. What to do? Go to the lowest level of your building. Stay away from outer walls, windows, and roofs. The safest structures are either brick or concrete. If you are not in one of those, shelter in the immediate middle of your structure. Turn off any units that bring air in from outside. 
listen for instructions from authorities before leaving the building. Pandemic. This is one that, unfortunately, we all know about too well. It never hurts, however, to always remember what to do. Social distancing, washing hands, wearing face masks, and finally, getting vaccinated are key to stopping the spread of any respiratory virus. Thunderstorm. Lightning is a leading cause of injury and death from weather-related hazards. Thunderstorms are dangerous storms that include lightning. What to do? When thunder roars, go indoors. A sturdy building is the safest place to be during a thunderstorm. Avoid running water or using a landline phone as electricity can travel through plumbing and phone lines. Pay attention to weather reports and warnings of thunderstorms. Tornado. Tornadoes are violently rotating columns of air that extend from a thunderstorm to the ground. Tornadoes can destroy buildings, flip cars, and create deadly flying debris. What to do? Take cover by shielding your head and neck with your arms and putting things like furniture around you. If you are trapped, cover your mouth with a cloth or mask to avoid breathing dust. Try to send a text message, bang on a pipe or a wall, or use a whistle instead of shouting. If there is no basement in your building, go to a small interior windowless room in the lowest level of your structure. Winter storm. Winter storms create a higher risk of car accidents, hypothermia, frostbite, carbon monoxide poisoning, and heart attacks from overexertion. What to do? Limit your time outside. If power goes out in your facility, keep refrigerators and freezers closed. Turn off or disconnect appliances, equipment, or electronics to avoid spikes that can cause damage. Do not use a generator or other gasoline-powered machinery indoors. Never, ever heat your facility with a gas stovetop or oven.